and welcome to day 44 of my 100 day challenge. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how I made these distressed inked um, index cards. Um, I used these, um, I made them a while ago, and I did use them on my um, belly band, so you can see there's a video of them. Uh, I cut the squares out into two by two squares, and you can see how uh, each one just looks unique and different. Oh, this one I ended up stamping on when I made this belly band. So it looks really cool um, to have that watercolor print in the back and you don't realize that it was, you know, started out as just a regular old index card. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, now you want to, I, I stamped on the white side of the card, not the lined side. Um, the lined side um, could run. Don't ask me how I know, but I know. <laughs> the ink could run on there. Um, these are cheap $1.25 store index cards. So they're pretty thin, um, and I think that's probably another reason why the ink ran. Um, but you might be able to stamp on that side if you wanted to, um, if you had nicer cards. But um, be forewarned, because you're adding some water to this, um, there's a good chance that that ink is going to run. So I'm going to flip these over, so make sure I have the right side. Uh, what I'm going to use is my uh, distra distress inks that I have here. Um, you probably can use the oxides, or I know you can, or any other kind of ink kind of deal, but this is what I have the most of, and this is what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use this uh, ceramic tile. Um, I got that um, uh, at the Home Depot. Um, you can buy these. You can buy single ones like a sample. They're like 10 cents um, to buy these, so they're um, a great deal. Um, I have a little spritz bottle of water here that I'm going to use. Um, for that. So let me get this, cover up my ink from before. Let me get this started. All right, so I'm going to start with a bright color. We're going to start with um, uh, worn lipstick. So all you do is you take and you dab a bunch of the ink onto the surface. Now you probably could use a glass um, for this, just not something that's not porous. I'm going to move these out of the way a bit. Um, and then you just spritz it with a little bit of water. All right, so then you take your cards um, and you can do that for them. Or you can kind of drag it through a little bit, have a little bit of that look. Put a little bit over there. And go ahead and mash that out of there. All right, then we'll add a little more. Get a little more red on that one. Okay. Okay, let me get a wet wipe. You can use a wet wipe or a... Um, just regular paper towel um, in between colors. Um, a wet wipe works good because then it stays a little bit wet too um, for the next color. So um, let's go with another bright color. Let's go with Broken China. Okay, a little bit of spritz. We'll start with that. We'll do that one. Now, I'm just doing four cards right now to make it a little quicker. Um, too big, too small. I mean, if you definitely uh, want to do more, you can. But as you can see, even with doing just four cards, um, I'm running a bit out of ink. Now, I probably could have uh, inked this whole thing up. But um, I also didn't want to totally waste the ink and... it uh, go off on my wet wipe. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, now when this dries, I probably have a fun, fun little thing for that too. So, okay. So let's go with um, old paper. I, don't, I think this one doesn't have a lot of color to it. So I might have to do a bit more of it. Kind of a light, light green. All right, so let's see if I can get some. 
Uh, as you can see, a little bit, um, probably if I had more time, I'd let this dry in between coats. Because as you can see, a bit of the blue color is coming off because it hasn't completely dried um, from the last coat. But that's okay because that color's on there anyway. Okay. Well, not a big effect, but added a little bit. So let's go with Rusty Hinge. Rusty Hinge is a fun color. Actually thinking of doing this to make those clear st uh, stamps that people are um, sorry tape that people make I thought that might be a good color for that too all right now the more wet it is the more runny it becomes as you can see, it got a little bit dry in that corner, so. All right, where'd my rusty hinge go? Oh, that's well. Did I do well, honey, or rusty hinge? You can see how the, um, Blue ink getting a little wet on that side it is um, starting to run a little bit. So, okay, all right, so let's clean that off. Okay, let's see what the Victorian velvet will do. <clears throat> a pinkish purple um, let's get rid of some of this brown get some more of that purple on there Some of these colors are definitely more subtle and get a little muddled when you do them. But it definitely adds to the effect. Of the card. So. Okay. So, Wild Honey. It's a little brighter yellow compared to that Rusty Hinge, which is more of an orange. So I think this will be fun. Okay. All right, let's start with this one. So let's start getting a little bit of the grunginess onto it. So let's go with some gathered twigs. Now this is probably where I should have waited for them to dry a little bit because we just want bit of grunge on there, not too much. I 
we're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. I know where we're getting. We're getting to my hands are being all inked up is where we're getting. Okay, so. All right, I think I got pretty much all of those. Um, so let's throw a little bit of some vintage photo oxide. Let's see what that works out. Okay. All right, so I wish I had something more purpley, but I do not. And I've got a black, but I don't know if I want to go black. So the only other one I really have is a tea dye, which is pretty similar to. Similar to the vintage photo, a little rosier. So. We'll just try to get it in some of the spots that are a little bit more white, especially along the edges. This corner will not seem to take any ink, but okay. All right. Okay, so we'll let those dry. Um, like I said, this one dried a little bit um, sub subtler um, as the ink dried. Um, so we'll see if that does the same for these because um, they're wet right now. Um, but what I'll do is at the uh, after they are all dried, I will put a photo of them um, up on at the end of the video to show you how they look all dried. So hopefully you had some fun learning these and um, you can make some of your own. Now you don't have to use uh, index cards. You really can use uh, any sort of uh, you know paper you want, white scrapbooking paper maybe. Um, copy paper would probably work a little bit thin maybe, but maybe some of the thicker um, weight copy paper could work too. So um, yeah, some fun way to make a little bit of a uh, tie-dye uh, watercolor uh, thing that we can make into journal cards or cut apart for things. So all right, well that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. And as usual, I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Thanks again.